The president of the European Central Bank arrives at a meeting of the Committee for Economic Affairs. His job today is to lay out the ECB strategy for the next few years. This is called monetary dialogue. Lawmakers want to know if EU monetary policies are on the right track. Knowledge is power. When voting, MEPs can make their own decisions with the correct information at hand. But the EU's economic policies are more than just monetary. Textile, car manufacturing, construction, these are only some of the sectors which are sensitive to globalization. For majority of MEPs, people working in those sectors deserve to be protected. Among the tools at the EU's disposal is the European Globalization Fund, for less skilled workers and those more at risk to get new jobs when a factory shuts down. And the EU's structural funds that help people in rural areas, fishermen and poorer regions catch up with the rest of the EU. This is essential. It works really good, but it can be done faster. It can be done in a simpler way. So the proposals now, also from my side, uh, go in the direction of less bureaucracy, the quicker spending and be more closer to the people. Because of the financial crisis of 2008, public investments in the EU decreased considerably. When that happened, Europe stepped in to invest in jobs and growth. But lawmakers want this kind of investment to be simplified and even more accessible. They believe that whenever EU funding works, EU citizens should be the first to know about it.